You can beat your competitors by demonstrating that they're too comfortable, that they're, they, they, they're complacent in, 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 in the relationship with their customers. We had a business in Australia which was, um, there wasn't enough volume here to justify investment and we're uncompetitive and the only way to really progress this business was to take on some larger customers and that meant entering the Asian market. There are two major players in our area of technology in that market and they were supplying the largest US brands. And um, we uh, went into those organizations and measured everything, the whole supply chain, from, from inputs to, to the actual storage and logistics, to how they used it in the plant, to um, how they shipped it, to what uh, the quality issues were at the point of sale and we had it signed off with every individual within that organization and demonstrated that basically if, um, if uh, the current supplier supplied it for free it was still more expensive than us. Now you're talking around about uh, three billion units and we went really head to head but really ran the sideway and changed the game. So. The, but the, the skill to that was also as accessing the people within that process and having the right conversation. Now the problem is a lot of people go into these companies and they, they do a, what I call a CNN report. They, um, they tell the customers about their business. But what the customers really want from maybe a technology provider or a solutions provider who operates on a global platform, they want your opinion. They want, to, they want to see what's, what you're seeing in the world that they can't read on, on food.com. They want to, what's your opinion and is there relevance of what you see and the solutions you have and to the relevance to the issues they've got in their businesses moving forward. And all businesses have got different issues. So you have to have that conversation. It's not about your pitch. You, of course, demonstrate you have the capabilities and you have the credibility, but the main uh, uh, success factor is to be able to get that information. Now what I've found in the past is by paying a lot of attention to your clients and the environment they work in is that they like it. They like th and the conversations get bigger and bigger and in more depth and more layers and you're getting more information because because the more you're understanding about your client the more ability you have to ask the right questions and, and, and that's, about, uh, that's about business, is, is to ask the right questions so then you can go away and come back with answers are relevant or maybe modify your process which has more relevance to the client. And the thing is to make sure it's done very early in the piece before you start because in my opinion if you ever have to get to a hard negotiation you have failed in that process because it should be basically part of the deal that if you're delivering along, along, the, along the journey with a, with a client it's being signed off. So just to test that we're on the right track um, we entered China and we went right through this process in a different way as well understanding that the Chinese would be very price focused but we identified a problem which was annoying them because they were supplying US brands and EU brands. And that enabled us to start that process uh, with humility to, uh, for them to realize again that their current supplier was actually more expensive than us even if it was for free. And we had an order of substantial amounts within eight months. You can beat your competitors by clearly demonstrating that the existing players are too comfortable in their existence. And uh, you do that by understanding the environment which is changing and that's to your advantage and uh, that you are on the front foot and uh, thinking about the client.